Good morning, everyone. I am back with my Disney 12 by 12 layout series in order to complete an entire album. And if you haven't been watching, we did complete the um, cover of the first. This is the album. I'm just going to show you really quick. This is the front cover we completed, and then we also completed the inside cover and this layout here. I'm just giving you a quick sneak peek. And we're using the Echo Park um, Magical Adventure Collection and also some of the Simple Stories papers from the Say Cheese, Say Cheese 2, and Say Cheese 3 paper pad. And for the most part, I'm trying to just use ephemera like ephemera and stickers from the collection and just like the cutouts and cut aparts that you can use here to embellish my layouts i'm keeping them super simple because i want to get a lot done in a short period of time so since we got the inside cover and the first page done the rest of the layouts are going to be um coordinating double layouts throughout the album until we get to the last page. So I'm trying to line these up for you guys. I'm using 12 by 12. It's kind of like a light blue um, cardstock paper. I've already gone ahead and done this page to save us time because um, you don't need to watch me do both since I'm doing the same thing on this side. So I'm going to set this one aside really quick. And basically, I just used cut paper, cardstock, and then this here is another piece of cardstock, the black. And then this, I used my Fiskars border punch and just punched all along this border. Okay. I also used some Tim Holtz Distress Ink, black soot, and went around the edges of this one and now we're going to do this one as well so let me set that aside i'm going to move this over and we're going to get this first page done okay the first thing i'm going to do is give you guys the measurements of what i used and i do realize we do not all have the same paper the same um let me line this up so i know we're even here you know, we don't all have the same papers and we're not all doing the same things. This is just to give you guys some inspiration to get out your stack of photos and start scrapbooking your memories. All right, I can, I'm all thumbs, I can't. Okay, there we go. So this just came from the collection, the, the ticket sheet here. I'm gonna be gluing that to the top of my paper and this measures 12 by one and a half inches one and a half inches wide let me find my glue if i can if i can make the videos quick enough which i doubt it because i'm a super slow crafter i will do two um i'll try and do two double layouts in this series in camera if I pull this down a little yes okay so I'm just gonna line up this edge with the top of my paper here and let me make sure that went all the way up yes it did okay lay that out my next piece is the black cardstock strip this measures 12 inches in length by one inch wide. I was hoping that I could uh, get this whole series done by the end of the month, but I highly doubt that's gonna happen, but I'm gonna try and do as many as I can to complete this by the end of the month. 
but I do have my Christmas in July series coming up. So I will be filming for that as well. This one is 12 by 3 quarter inch wide. And I'm just butting them up against each other going straight across. Okay, and now we're going to want to do the bottom here. So let me push this up. The black strip of cardstock that goes on first measures 12 inches by half. Also, I'm hoping to be back in the kitchen today. Hubby's going to join me. So we're getting that video done. Just have a lot going on. But I do hope I can get a lot of these done because we're also doing the 8x8 um, Disney album series as well. So I'll be posting a lot of those videos. This one measures 12. And now I did three quarter inches and then I used my Fiskars punch to punch the border out. So it takes it down to a little over a half an inch. So you need to give yourself that little extra. And yes, I still am fighting that chest cold, but a lot of it, I think, um, is allergies on top of it. Tis the season, right? Okay, let me make sure that's all pressed down. And now I'm gonna go ahead and ink up my edges using a little bit of that black soot. have another craft show series video coming up there's just a lot going on guys okay so that's done I may leave that here because I think I'm going to ink up some more as I go but let me line these up again so that they're both on they're both in camera here. You see when you line them up side by side like that in the album, they look so cute and coordinating. Okay, so within the paper pad, there's a lot of cut aparts um, like this. But then there was also, I don't think I have the, oh yeah, here we go. There's also a lot of these kind of cut aparts, little squares. So I thought, well, how can I use these and embellish it and make it look, you know, kind of cute. So I have two four by six for this side. I have two four by six um, pictures that I'm going to put right here at kind of an angle. And I want the points to kind of come close to touching the sides. Let me move this out a little bit just, just so that you can see where I'm going with this. And I kind of want to center them in between on this blue square here. So my photographs, the, the black cardstock, I backed up my photos with black cardstock. That measures four by six. And I just trimmed my photos down an eighth of an inch. Okay. And then I have this strip that I cut out from the paper. This measures seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters long by one and a quarter wide. And I am going to ink this up on the edges just a little. And I'm going to run that strip down the center of the photographs. And then I also have this one. It says Dream. 
magic and happy those are going to go in the center there i'm going to ink those up as well and i've already backed them up with some foam tape like i said i'm going to try and get as much done as i can off camera so that i don't waste too much of your time because I have a lot of these videos to show you. Okay, so let me just kind of stand up here and get my photos kind of centered. Yeah, I don't want them off center. I think I just want them going straight across. I feel like I can't pick up anything today. Do you ever have one of those days? I'm having it now. This photo, guys, is of me, actually. And I think we are in downtown Disney, which I don't think it's called that anymore. I don't know. Everything's changed so much since I've been there. But they have this huge Lego display going on and these are the Lego dragons and I thought they were so cool so my hubby and I like stood in front got pictures and yes that was when I was a blonde I am not I went back to my original born with brunette hair I don't know what I was thinking doing the blonde what actually happened was they started highlighting it and it just kept getting heavier with blonde more and more and more and it ended up too blonde for me. So I just went back to my other. So I'm gonna put this strip in the center here. And I did cut um why can't I think of the name of that dovetail? You know when you dovetail a ribbon? I kind of dovetailed the paper. And I'm gonna center that as best I can. There we go. And then I'm going to use these ephemera pieces in the middle, just like that. And I'm going to call that page done because I think it's super cute. I don't want to over embellish it. It's kind of been my goal. So I'm just going to put this one, the top, and I'll put happy at the bottom. And then I will center dream in the middle. Oh, I love it. I think it looks super cute. And I think I am going to call it done. I was going to do a little bit of like scribble writing here. Maybe I'll actually, um, do a little like swirly faux stitching. Maybe I'll put it through my sewing machine. I doubt it. Um, maybe I'll do some faux stitching down here, but for the most part, I wanna keep this simple and call it done. So I got three more squares cut out of those ephemera pieces, and I, I'm just gonna call it dovetail. I know that's not what it's called, banner. I cut banner pieces on the bottom. I also, out of one of the ephemera pieces, cut out this sentiment and it says always believe something wonderful is about to happen which I would love that <laughs> and I'm going to ink that up just on the edges and I will probably put some foam tape on the back of this one as well just to give it a little bit of dimension and I'm going to ink these up I did not do that off camera, so sorry guys. I'm just going to ink up the bottoms because the tops you're not going to see. And then I also have my photos for this one. This is my hubby in front of one of the Lego um, things they had there 
and that's him in front of the dragon. This is a three by four photo, and I just took, the, and this is a four by six, and I just took the photos down an eighth of an inch. Then this is my journal card that I'm gonna do. This is um, a three by four, and then my white card stock that goes on top of that is two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So I just went an eighth of an inch down like I did for the photos. And I'm gonna glue that there. And then my journal card, I just cut out from one of the um, cut aparts in the paper collection. And I'm inking that up. And that measures two and three quarters by three and three quarters. So I'm gonna get that. Let me put this one aside for right now and move this over. And I'm gonna get this glued up for you. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I cannot. I did trim my nails this weekend. They were super, super long and I think I filed them a little too, little too short. journal card on here and this was actually a scrap piece and this red strip here was a scrap piece so I put them together and just created that little journal card because I love to use up my scraps and I think I'm gonna put that there, but I wanna, I think I wanna bring out my other layout because I want it all to really be nice and balanced. Okay, so these three cards here, I'm gonna be putting under this photograph. like that. I think that's going to look really cute. I'm going to add some foam tape to the back of this. see where I want to lay this. Hold on, I need a drink, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> Losing my voice. <coughs> okay, so I'm thinking... I'm just going to set that there real lightly because I'm not super positive that's where I want it. But I think that's going to look pretty good. I'm going to add some glue to my photo and just try and lay it down over those banner pieces real carefully since I have them exactly how I want them. run my rag over the photo and yes I think that's where I want that so I'm going to push that down and call it done take my 3 by 4 photo over here oh, I 
like that right there. And my journal card. It's going to go right there. And I think that's it, guys. I really like the look of this page. It's very simple. Not a whole lot of embellishing going on. I am going to go under these banner pieces, though. And add a little more glue. Just so that they stay in place. and press those down. Now, not every layout is going to have a photograph. There's a lot of pictures that I've taken that the people do not want to be on YouTube, and I get that. So I'll be doing, I already have this one set up and ready to go. Um, oh, for you guys, and we're gonna be using the regular plain cardstock mat, and I have a little camera piece there so that I know or just so you know, that's where I'm going to be placing the photos um, instead of journaling. So that's going to be our next layout. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I hope you like it. If you do, give me a thumbs up as it helps me with my YouTube channel. And I'll be back with another video. You guys take care and happy scrapping.